Hello and welcome to the Present Truth Podcast. Today is Monday the 30th of September. I'm Derek and this week I have a general news update. So in Iran, our brother Ben Amarani, we've had a report from him that he, he seems to be doing better health-wise. Of course the underlying problems are still there and I still appreciate it if you kept praying for his back, for his hernia and for the different other problems, his eyesight that he needs God to help him with. As we know he's been in good spirits all along. He believes that God has put him uh, at the place that he's at in prison and is giving him the strength and the energy to survive and to stay true to the gospel uh, where he is. And so we appreciate this. Keep our brother in your prayers. Keep his family in your prayers as well. God is providing support for them and we're thankful for this. But Christina is trying her best to live a normal life, as normal as possible, with the two children in the pressured situation that they're under. I'd like you to pray that she'd be able to maintain some level of normalcy despite the difficult situation. Keep her and the children in your prayers. Now, Brother Saeed Abedini, I'd like to point out that the day after there was a prayer vigil for him, which was Thursday last week, there was a historic phone call between the President of the United States of America and the President of Iran. We don't believe in coincidence, we believe in answered prayer. Saeed was mentioned in this call, Mr. Obama asked for his release, and we're trusting that God is moving behind the scenes, and we're hoping that this will lead to Saeed's release sometime in the near future. Please keep him in your prayers. Now, in the same prison, in Evan Prison in Tehran, there is Brother Alariza Sedian, and uh, we haven't had any news update from him, but please keep him in your prayers. We're hoping that the new uh, openness and the, the new more relaxed atmosphere that the President Rohang here is creating is going to lead to a, a release for our brother and the others who have been imprisoned for their faith in different places in Shiraz and other places across Iran. So please keep praying for his safety, for all of their safety in prison and for their release. Keep all the Christians in Iran in your prayers. It's a difficult country to be a believer in and it seems that every positive step that's made for the benefit of Christians and other minorities in Iran is met by protests calling for a more hard line, a more another crackdown on prisoners, uh, on Christians. And so pray for the safety and the effectiveness of the faith of the Christians in Iran. In Pakistan, I'd like to remind you of our sister Asiya Bibi, who's in jail because of her Christian faith under death sentence. Keep her and her family in your prayers as they're waiting for deliverance. Pray for the believers who suffered in the bombing of their church in Peshawar in Pakistan. The death toll from that has reached over 80 people and there are still scores of people in hospital injured from the blast. Pray for the those who have lost relatives. Pray for the safety of those in hospital. It's a dangerous place at the moment as another car bomb recently went off in the streets of Pakistan. So keep them in your prayers. We trust that the Lord blesses them and continues to use them despite the difficulties of living in that country. From India, I have another new picture of the church building in Nagalavancha. They're putting in a floor now. They also told us that the missionary outreach in that country is continuing well. So please keep that in your prayers for the building, for the believers in that country. And from Uganda, we had a message from the believers in Mitiana who are building their church. Again, this is a new outreach in that area. We'd like uh, you to pray that the Lord gives them an effective witness. Ten believers recently came to the Lord, and seven of them want to be baptized in Christian baptism. So keep that in your prayers. Also in Uganda, pray for a sister, Fiona, whose house was burnt to the ground. She suffered the loss of everything that she has. 
the church out there are helping her rebuild her house. Please pray for her and her three children while the process is underway that the Lord would bless them and would provide for all the losses that they've incurred due to the house fire. And finally, the missionaries in the Middle East are continuing to witness and to outreach among the Muslims for the Lord Jesus. And as I've been saying, we have a target of 4,000 New Testaments and Jesus movies, which have been one of the most effective ways of reaching Muslims. There are two holiday seasons coming up, uh, Christmas and Nauru's, which is uh, New Year. We'd like to really push out a message for Jesus at this time. If there's anything that you can do to help us with this goal, we'd appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this podcast. We at Present Truth trust that you will be inspired to prayer for these things that we've presented. If you'd like any more information on any of these matters, please visit our website at presenttruthmn.com or email me, Derek, at presenttruthmn.com. God bless you. And may God bless the mission work wherever it's going on in the world.